All right, today we are talking about Frank Kern and his intent-based branding uh, ads and VSL. So um, this is Radical Persuasion where we discover the psychology and copywriting secrets behind great offers. Uh, this is a little bit about me. I'm not going to bore you by reading all of this. If you want, you can pause this and uh, check out what I do, what I can do for you potentially. Uh, I will say that if you want more content like this uh, delivered on a weekly basis, um, you can join my email list by going to this URL here. So today I want to talk about uh, breaking the fourth wall in selling. So in you know movies and in plays, there's a concept called breaking the fourth wall. And that's when the main character or, or any character speaks directly to the audience. And I think it comes from you know, on a, on a stage, on a play stage, you've got, you know, stage right, stage left, and you've got the backdrop. So those are the three walls. And then the fourth wall is, you know, the invisible wall that separates people from the people in the play uh, or in the movie. So if you've seen the movie Wolf of Wall Street, um, that's, he breaks the fourth wall a lot in the opening of that movie. He's talking to the audience, he's explaining, he's telling his life story through that, uh, through the screen, uh, like almost talking directly to the person watching the movie. Um, so Frank uh, Kern, who is a well-known uh, internet marketer, I've learned a lot from him. Um, he, uh, I, I could not find it, but I've got two examples of how he does this really well. Um, but he had this landing page that, that blew my mind, and I don't think it's live anymore. Um, I, I I didn't look very hard, to be honest, <laughs> but I looked for a good 15 or 20 minutes. I couldn't find it online. Um, so, but I found two other things that, um, two other assets he built um, that show how this works. So he has this thing called intent-based branding, which is basically you create a series of content um, similar to this type of content that I'm, I'm creating now, um, but they're a lot shorter, maybe three to five minutes. And... Um, you know, you start by providing things that are helpful to people, good value. Um, and, uh, you know, if you watch enough of the video, it that shows that you're interested in Frank and what he's teaching. And potentially you could be a lead for him and his business to, to learn Internet marketing from him. And um, what he does really well is that. So for Facebook has uh, this um, ability to target people who watch a certain percentage of your videos. So for example, if, uh, two people watch your videos, the first person only watches three seconds and then they leave, mm -hmm. right? Then another person might watch the entire thing. And what you can do from that point on is then choose that person who watched the whole thing and send them a different video based on how much they watch of your stuff. And so I started to see stuff like this. Um, I, I first heard about Frank on uh, Grant Cardone's Power Players podcast. Um, then I was curious about him, uh, started looking him up, and then through various uh, tracking methods online, Facebook pixels, stuff like that, he started, started to um, put content in front of me. And um, that's what eventually led to the landing page, which I'll explain more about. But I'll just show you how this works. So. This is a type of video that you would get if you had started watching his stuff and then he is able to segment you and target you based on your engagement with um, his stuff. So let's watch it, it's 50 seconds long. Hey, you know intent-based branding works because you're watching this right now. Think about it, you saw some of my content on social media, uh, whether it was Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram, we use all three here. And uh, then we were able to retarget you because you watched it and now you're watching this. And even though you know this is an ad, you're still watching it, which is the point of intent-based branding, to build that bond with someone and help them so much that they're like, yeah, cool, I'll check out an ad from this person. It's all about that goodwill. If you would like for me and my team to help you create intent-based branding uh, campaigns for your business, go to kernbranding.com or uh, maybe click the link that's somewhere near this video. You'll see a little letter that I wrote for you telling you how we might be able to help you. And if you like what you see, fill in the little form there and we'll set up a time to talk. Take it easy. Cool. So that's an example of one of the ads that I saw, one of the videos. And then um, I think this is one of the things you would see, you know, let's say on that ad, you know, on this mm -hmm. one, it's like an archive of the video, you know, back when 
uh, when the video, um, uh, you know, when it was an ad, you know, right now I can't click on anything here because it was just, you know, this is just an archive of, of that ad. Um, but let's say I click through there. Then on the next page, it was basically like intent based branding, intent based branding works. Do you know how I know that? Because you're on this page right now. So he's breaking the fourth wall with this type of ad. He's, he's talking directly to a person saying, Hey, Hey, you, you know, it's almost like a whisper in the ear. It's like, I'm going to, he's almost like, uh, telling the person a secret who's watching and it's basically like, Hey, you're still looking at me. You're still watching my face. You know what that means? That means that what I'm, the stuff I'm doing to you right now, um, it works, right? And I want to help you do the same with your online business. And so you click through that landing page, you see that he says, Oh, you know, it's proof that, you know, you're here. That's how it works. And then, um, you know, I think, um, it's hard for me to know for sure, but, uh, you know, this is something you'll be redirected to after you give, provide your name and email. So we'll just watch the first 30 seconds of this. Hey everybody, Frank Kern here. Uh, first of all, thanks for your interest in this class. And I think it kind of goes without saying right now that intent-based branding works. And uh, we know it works because it's what got you here. So in this little video walkthrough, I'm going to show you how it works and how you might model what I'm doing in a minute. But before we do, let me give you a little bit of an update. I'm recording this for you at 11.10 a.m. on January 9th. You're probably wondering why I'm telling you that. Okay. So yeah, so I just wanted to pause it. I, I wasn't able to. Um, looks like this offer has expired. Um, they it was doing it back in the day, but not anymore. Um, but I love this because you know usually I'm like with radical persuasion here. I'm like breaking down an actual um, piece of copy, but this one is a little bit more um, just talking about the idea and the um, you know so that you can use it in in any type of medium, whatever copy you're doing or a different type of campaign. And, and that is to use your campaign as proof that something works. And for Frank, uh, you know, off the top of my head, I can't think of other types of things um, that it may work in. Maybe if you're watching this, you can comment uh, wherever you're watching this comment below and, you know, throw out some ideas. Um, it works perfectly for him because he is in the business of, running ads, catching people's attention, and getting them to move forward on an offer. Okay, so it's kind of like a little bit of, in, you know, ad inception, you know, it's an ad within an ad uh, that, um, you know, that you can run these types of ads um, for your own business, whatever that business might be. So it works really well for him because what he, the way he reaches you is also what he's selling, which is his method of reaching people. And, um, you know, he's doing that as a, as an, uh, an expert marketer positions himself as the expert. Um, and, and, and the, the proof is in the pudding, you know, if you're watching his stuff and clicking through to, to his stuff, um, then it's working, you know, and, and that's all what I think is a great part about marketing and copy is, you know, you can run around being confused of who to learn from, but if the person who sold you something or has grabbed your attention, you know, that they're a pretty good place to start because what they're doing actually worked on you. So, um, you know, he breaks the fourth wall. He, he shows you that, you know, what he's doing is working because it's working on you. And, um, he does it in a way that, you know, makes sense, um, that, that it fits and it, and it causes a person to take a step back and go, wow, you know, this is, yeah, he's right. I'm, I'm continuing to watch his stuff and learn from him. And if I could do this with my consulting business, with my dentist office, with whatever, then, uh, you know, that's something I'd be, I'd be interested in, in doing. And, you know, he, he doesn't break the fourth wall. He doesn't speak directly to somebody, um, in this kind of personal secretive way. You know, a lot of, a lot of ads, like try to talk to directly to the the audience, they just don't do it as, as well as this. Um, but he does it for a reason. He doesn't just do it for fun. He does it because he's, he's, um, he's showing, he's, he's explaining how his system works as it's working on you unfolding in real time. So, um, to me, that was, uh, you know, kind of, a, a pivot point, a paradigm shift for me. Um, and, uh, 
you know, maybe whatever you're doing, whatever type of uh, offer you're running or whatever niche you're in, you can think of ways to do the same thing. You know, um, one of the things I learned from uh, Kyle Milligan on his, his YouTube channel is uh, the phrase, um, uh, the chef eats his own cooking. So it's, it's really powerful that, you know, whatever you're selling, the person who is, you know, either the guru positioned to, to sell it um, or, you know, the, the product developer, the person who, who created it, um, they use it themselves. That's very powerful. And this one is just so many layers of, of um, credibility because he's, it's not only that he uses it um, and, uh, and, 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 swears by it but he's doing it in real time as it's happening to you and so um you know that's really that grabbed my attention uh, big time um uh, because also back then i was kind of unaware of all the different ways in which you could do this you know like track people and segment them based on how much you know content they watch because um, you know, I was unaware of how that software works. And so it kind of felt like a little bit of magic to me too. Like, whoa, how does this guy know exactly where I am, know exactly what I've watched and, and kind of knows what I'm thinking right now. Um, so, um, if you can in any way do that without, you know, creeping people out about, uh, you know, following them around the internet or stuff like that, um, that balancing act, um, you know, you could, uh, uh, potentially have some great success in uh, grabbing people's attention and getting them to uh, to learn more. So, hope you enjoyed this one. Um, a little bit more abstract. I know I showed you a couple of examples, but um, but uh, hope it was helpful. And uh, uh, wherever you're watching this, it's YouTube, Facebook, um, or maybe LinkedIn. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And uh, again, if you want to get more content like this that I don't share publicly. You, uh, my email list is right here. Uh, just visit that site. You can sign up uh, for free uh, uh, today. So uh, I'll see you on the next one. And thanks for uh, watching.